I'm a fan of underdog movies, and uh, I certainly thought this was an incredibly inspirational story. Shoots. They say the most personal is the most universal. And I think that there was a reason that Tim was so compelled to tell this story. And all the fact that it does come from such a specific instance makes it all the more relatable. Are you suggesting that our girls will become athletes? If they want to win, yes. Kathy Rush, the story is that she gets married at 23. Her and her husband, Ed Rush, is an NBA referee. He has you know, a great career, or at least is on the path of, of having a great career. And uh, their plan was to start a family immediately. And she went to her husband and said, look, I, I want to be a, a, a college coach. And that clearly was not the norm in, in 1972. So it presented a bit of a challenge in their relationship. What, you'd rather I just sit at home all day while you travel all over the country? Yes, you know, I travel so I can pay for this apartment and everything else that's here. What they pay you, that's not even legal, right? Most women, they would be grateful. Grateful? And at that time, so many girls and women went to college, got married, perhaps never worked, and that was what they were going to do. But these women who played at Immaculata came together, and once they saw the opportunities that were there, they, they bought into the idea that they could do anything. Whatever they, they thought their potential was, they could go out and do. I thought dreams were only for rich kids. Now dreams are for everybody. All you need is a heart. You have the gift to play this game, Trish Sharkey. There is no doubt in my mind. But you have to believe it. The main theme of the movie for me is just to have that strength. And Kathy Rush broke down those walls. I hope you're a better coach than you are a negotiator. Why is that? I was prepared to offer 500. That's okay, because I was willing to coach for free. The fact that it's a true story, that it actually happened, that there was a woman named Kathy Rush who went to a school that was on the verge of closing and took a team that was at the bottom of the basement of the, the ratings and took it to its championship, to the championship of that league, is a very important story. The Mighty Max is truly the first Cinderella team. I think this movie is pretty universal. I think that it has something for everyone. What I would say is that the entire family can actually sit in a theater and enjoy it and get various different things from it. It reminds me of Rocky, it reminds me of The Fighter, it reminds me of films that have a message in them. And um, sports is a great way of communicating. Metaphors. It's an uplifting story. It's a good story. It talks about overcoming adversity and, and building unity, whether it's a family or a team or a community like Immaculata. And I think it's going to be bigger and better than anyone ever thought 